Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage. I'm back again with another Goodwill Bins haul video today. Today we have a lot of stuff. A lot of small things, but a lot of great stuff. Um, so welcome. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. Happy you're joining us on this fun adventure of uh, sourcing stuff to resale. Um, I have a, uh, I sell on eBay. I sell at an antique store and uh, also on Facebook Marketplace a little bit. Depend upon the items, but that's mostly what I do in my resale, reselling opportunities. Um, and I sell, you know, if you guys contact me, I sell directly that way too. So, um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to all my, you know, existing subscribers and uh, people who are loyal commenters. So feel free to do that at any time. And since we have so much stuff, we're not going to do a lot of talking. We're going to get right into it. Um, and so, yeah, so let me just, I don't know where to start. There's so much stuff. Let's just start with this guy. Found this butter dish. Look at this. <laughs> it's awesome. It's got the little dots all over it. it does have a name on the bottom. Um, so I believe this to be a handmade piece. Looks like Noud, N-O-O-D or N-U-O-D or something like that. N-O-W-D maybe. It's hard to tell. There is a little spot where it looks like it's discolored from the butter, which means there's probably a little crack in the um, finish. But again, it's such a cute little decorative piece, I couldn't pass it up. So we got that, which was great. <coughs> Sorry about bending over. I just, my desk is full. I don't have a place to put it. Oh, my wife picked up some of these command strips because she needs to hang a picture for her dad. Um, and we had talked about doing those. Um, we pick up these little pocket Bibles. We put these in the backpacks for the homeless that we do. And if you're not familiar with that, we do, we collect supplies and make up backpacks that we hand out when we see uh, people begging on the corners. So I found a pair of these. I don't know where the other one is. It's probably in here somewhere. A pair, they're salt and pepper shakers, rooster heads. Thought they were pretty cute. Um, they got the cork stoppers on them. So I believe them to be more of a vintage than new newer oh this was fun we found this bracelet still new in the box uh it's silver plated charms and a stainless steel expandable bracelet uh it's called gratitude and grace life's a beach whatever that means anyway so i'm pulling out of this magic hat here oh you gotta i gotta save you guys for later so you want to watch through the whole video because there's some great stuff in the end. You'd be surprised what I found at the bins. Oh, my wife found this little uh, pouch of polished rocks. So I said, sure, we'll take them. We'll see if I can sell. Um, we sell a lot of craft supplies down at the Pink Elephant. So I got to put that over there. Oh, I found a little bunny. And yes, it'll be in the booth, Nicole. So, you know, if you want to check out another little bunny for Easter, it'll be in our booth. That's Nicole Northgarten. If you haven't gone to her channel, I'll link to it down below. You can check her out. She's got a lot of stuff. We share our antique booths together. Picked up these for our daughter. They're just little stamps. She's a elementary school teacher. Thought those would be fun for her. Oh, I debated on this little tiny stein. It's got the cannon on top of it. And it's marked House of Global Art, hand-cut lead crystal West Germany on the bottom. So I thought, well, it's small enough, it's not going to cost much, and that kind of stuff is could be considered fairly popular. So I will uh, I'll pick it up and throw it down at the pink elephant and see what happens. Um, look at it. I found this glassware, and I believe it to be where's the black light? It's right there. I thought it was uranium glass. It's hard to tell. It's too light here, but no, it doesn't appear to glow, but just a beautiful green creamer. Sorry, my drawer's getting stuck. <laughs> I got my uh, ruler in there. Okay, I was really excited to see this. Never seen one like this. I've seen many of these, and you guys have too. The flower frog. Look at the size of this thing. Uh, and look at the size of the holes. They're huge. But this still has the original label on it. Bohemian crystal made in the Czech Republic. 
uh, which tells me this was probably never used for real flowers because sitting in the water from a real flowers that would have been gone but it's like in perfect shape so it was probably used either for artificial flowers or just as a decorative item which you would make perfect paperweight wouldn't it on your desk and they're huge holes so you could get some large stem sunflowers to stick in there or whatever that was awesome love that one and that's going to be a costly piece when I price that one. <laughs> a lot of things I price inexpensively to keep moving as many of you know my philosophy is I need to move things quickly because I don't have space to store things for long periods of time so um we picked this up because there's something wrapped in it um so yeah I don't know looks like a tablecloth or a large scarf um anyway let's see picked up this the package isn't in too good of shape but it's a star trek lip balm um first contact which is one of the movies that they had i think it was the second or third movie not sure but it's dated 1996. um so i thought there's plenty of star wars collectors out there that might want some vintage lip balm not to use but just to hang on to <sighs> i found this beautiful frame it's a miniature frame it's made of pewter uh, with a little stand on it. So that'll be fun. Um, large print word search. Cindy found that. I think she picked it up for herself. Actually, let me show you this too. This was one of my finds. It's a huge shamrock with lights, the Christmas light bulbs that light up all around the side. There's the back side. Um, the lights keep falling out because the holes are just a hair too big. Um, but I only paid 99 cents because it's an electronic. So I thought I'd put that down at the antique store. And the, the pink elephant is called, if you haven't heard of it already. Um, so yeah, and St. Patrick's Day is just a week away. So I need to get on that. Uh, my wife also picked up this. It's a plain notebook. She loves taking notes. So that's for hers. I, found, I bought this book simply for the cover. Look at the graphics on that. Skip to my loo. What fantastic cover art is on here. William Martin Camp. So I haven't looked it up or anything, but it is. I just love the graphic cover. Copyright 1954. 1954. Then I found this little artwork. This is an original oil painting. As many of you know, I love artwork. Um, and that's just so darling of a cut apple, a couple whole apples, not the highest quality, but it is stamped on the back, Henry Ramirez, Ram, Ramirez, yeah, um, Mission Viejo, California. So, I haven't looked him up or anything, I don't know if he's a well-known artist or not, but I just like the painting. Um, I had the Rhyme of Day book, but I buried it under the stuff and forgot about it, so... I didn't have one picked out, so we'll do it another day. I got a, a big, big haul today. We found these Mickey Mouse twin sheets, brand new in the package. These were sold by Kohl's. Original price was $50. Um, and I've had good luck selling brand new sheets and pillowcases in the packages. So, so I thought that was a good find. Found another Christmas Santa. This one is a tree topper. This is the Merry Midget Santa topper, GE Electric. Again, paid 99 cents for this. This is a, uh, um, there's several of them on eBay, not very many, but $20, $25 item. It's all day long. If I can get an item for a dollar and sell it for 25, 20 even, that's a good way to make some good money. Oh, here's the other rooster head. I knew it was here somewhere. So there's our matching pair of roosters. All right, Cindy found, while we were digging through, my wife was with me today, um, she found if I didn't already say that. This Longa Burger basket, it's just a small one with a strap. This would be a wall hanger and uh, handmade baskets, 2003. So it's not an old one, um, but it's a very cute, darling little basket, I think. Look at this, speaking of cute little darling things, look at this plate. This is the Spode Blue Room Collection Georgia Georgian series. So, I think that's 
And there was a debate with the cashiers whether to charge me 49 cents because it's a plate or to weigh it. <laughs> they ended up weighing it because it's so tiny. And it, I wouldn't eat off of this. That's one of their rules. Would you eat off of it or drink out of it? No. So, because yeah, otherwise I'd pay like twice the price. <laughs> oh, I don't know what else to go next. I'm trying not to have this a long, long video, but it we have so much fun stuff. Now this, keep in mind, this thing is extremely dirty. It is broken on the top, I just noticed, but it is cute. It's a little Tweety Bird clip. Very dirty. It was clipped on the side of a uh, like a large tin barrel. So I don't know what it was originally used for, but it's made in Taiwan. So, you know, probably 1970s. It's just so cute. I had to pick that up. Picked up a bunch of these little block letters. We sell a lot of small craft items at the Pink Elephant, our antique store booth. So um, I found a bunch of those. We picked up, also found a bunch of a bag of buttons, which we also sell a lot of at the Pink Elephant. And I put these in individual, not individual, but you know, I put a lot of them in a bag and mark four or five dollars on a bag. And they just sell all day long. In fact, so when I worked at the Pink Elephant on Saturday, one lady bought, not of mine, but of another vendor's at the Pink Elephant's $130 worth of buttons and craft items. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I picked up this watch It's on this very, very large wristband, uh, which is all leather. It's very um, bikerish. Um, and this is a Swiss Army watch. I don't know. Um, oh, the, the lens is cracked. But I pick up a lot of these watches. Again, I only paid a dollar for it. I, I could easily probably sell the wristband for more, for quite a bit of money. Uh, probably 10 to 15 dollars even in its current condition but i can clean that up and condition it and make it look even better uh, even if the watch doesn't want work and i do think the watch is worth some money too so i'll have to look that up um then we found this box that's right it's um wedgwood jemima puddle duck <gasps> oh look at that i hope you can see it right there harrods label so this was actually bought in england harrods department store that's cool. They paid two dollars and ninety-five cents, or whatever the British equivalent would be. So it's this child's cup. It's a darling little cup. Wedgwood, nineteen eighty-four. It's the copyright date. So mid eighties, nice vintage mug. I've sold a lot of um, Beatrix Potter stuff. So that's good. Okay, here's my rusty, rusty gold as it's called. Some people love this old rusty stuff. It's a beautiful vintage door handle, but what I loved about it, I've never seen this pattern on a door handle before, which I thought was really cool. Um, but it's very rusty, but rusty sells. So, um, okay, my wife picked up a wrist support, new in the package. All right. Yeah. Sometimes hard when I have so much stuff to go through. I don't know where to go. Um, lamp. Look at this awesome lamp. This, I believe, is a type of cactus um, that when it is dead and dried out, this is what it looks like. Somebody made a lamp out of it, um, which I can... I'll check to see if it needs to be rewired or whatever, and I can do that. But, um, yeah, it's missing the top part, which I have all the parts to rewire it. But is that what a great lamp... Um, again, I paid 99 cents for it, so that's a good deal for an unusual lamp like that. We've also found this, um, wall hanging piece. It's kind of a tribal looking piece. It's heavily carved on this side. This side, it does have strings that are not tightened. It has two pegs, um, and it's got this to hang it on the wall. And I would imagine you would hang it with this side out. Although you could probably do it either way, um, but it's much more of a decorative item. And this bottom part is kind of a drum. Um, so yeah, it's a decorative piece. I don't know much about it. It's got a bird profile carved in the top. So, so that was fun. All right, vintage Christmas. Look at these wonderful candlesticks in this box. 
Cindy found them. I was like, yes, put them in the cart. What if, what if they've been used? Put them in the cart. <sighs> Look, yes, they have been burnt, but aren't these awesome? Those little poinsettias on there. They're still in great shape. Um, they haven't been burned very much, so I like them. So those all go on our Christmas Christmas stuff. Um, another item. Oh, let me just get all the stuff out of it first. Look at this. Elizabeth Taylor, white diamond perfume, brand new full bottle. Um, it's a spray. I don't think it's ever been used. Ooh. Ooh. That's strong. Um, again, I've sold a good amount of perfume. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I find a lot of it in the bins. So people donate it. <laughs> These vintage um, earrings. And they're Woolworth. No, Ben Franklin stores. Original price of $279, marked down to $209, and marked down to $1.40, looks like, before they finally sold. And nobody ever wore them. They're still in the package, which I think is hilarious. So I just bought them because I thought it was fun. They were still in the package. Found this item, the Ocarina um, musical instrument, in the package with the instructions. And it's got the little label up there. It was originally $8. So this is not an expensive item to begin with, but I think it's really cool. Um, and let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, another vintage Christmas ornament. So I'm the little drummer boy in a circle, which is kind of cool. like that one. Um, oh, this was amazing. Not that. This. It's a clay pipe. These were, um, have been made in England for hundreds of years, you know, probably 500, close to 500 years. And they still were making them even up to recently. I believe it's just been the last couple of years that the uh, factory that made these went out of business or closed or something. I remember reading something about it. Um, but yeah, so this is a clay pipe. It's probably a souvenir piece. It's not, I don't believe it's an old one by any means. And it is stamped on the side, but you can't read it, which is not that uncommon. It does have initials T and D on there, which I could probably look it up and see what those are too. But, but yeah, the other thing I do is I pick up lamp finials when I find them at the bins, or if it's just loose on a harp, I pick up these and then I lot these together and sell them, you know, 10 to 15 of them in a lot. And you can get easily $20, $25. Um, and they sell really fast. So... That's what I do. Found a vintage Santa. This one is uh, made in Taiwan, Midwest Imports. So he's a cute little guy. Uh, I found another similar one of these Snoopy ornaments uh, in the bins a couple months ago, and that sold right away for like $25. This one's stamped 1958 on the bottom, made in Japan. Again, this guy is like in. Um, excellent condition there is a like a pen mark or something right there but the rest of him is he's not cracked or chipped and even the paint is in great shape so so he'll do well he'll be another probably 20 25 dollar ornament this was a fun little it's a frame as you can see with the cameo on top but what's funny is it's a pin to put on your coat or clothes but it would be kind of heavy to put on anything other than a like a coat or you know, good heavy material. I suppose you could pin it to a bulletin board too, I suppose. That would work. But yeah, I just hadn't seen anything like that. Thought that was kind of cool. So I picked that up. Oh, what I was taking stuff out of was this leather stamped purse. This is not, many of these are stamped Mexico. This one is not, so I'm not sure. Um, it is rather vintage. It does have quite a bit of wear on it. On the inside, the outside looks wonderful. But I couldn't find any stamps as to where it was made or anything. So not sure if it's Mexico or, you know, if it's somewhere else. But it's beautifully done. Nice purse. Very well, very nicely tooled. And those are always, you know, $20, $25 sellers all the time. Um, found a little Christmas accessory. Railroad Crossing made in Taiwan. It was $1.99, so you know that's been a while. These things are now... Six, seven dollars. Even at Menards when you go to buy them. 
Oh, I picked up these. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but I just thought they were great old vintage John Deere tractors. There's two tractors and this guy. I'm not exactly sure what piece of equipment he is. Um, so yeah, pick those up. Let's go down to the pink elephant. Um, and again, I found more jewelry at the bins. And I still get my special surprises. What really surprised me that, that we're sitting in the bins today. That, and especially that nobody else got. That'll be coming up in a moment. Um, picked up this jewelry. There's a nice necklace. Um, this is plastic beads and wooden beads. Um, oh, wow. And I have not looked at any of this jewelry. We just, Cindy found it most of this and just put it in here. I don't know what we have. Besides a tangled mess, which we'll work on untangling it, but looks like a key, hearts with keys. That looks like somebody's pieced that together because it's also held together with a twisty tie. And here's some more. So yeah, this looks like somebody's homemade um, craft piece. Except for that little gold locket. Set of blue beads. That's a very nice necklace. Look, it's marked too. Patented. I assume the patent is for the lock, the clasp. Um, there's a little arrowhead pendant. That's cute. And a little gold bracelet um, made in Turkey. Oh. oh, it says AU 14K Turkey. So they're saying this is 14 karat gold. Hmm. Maybe we just found some 14 karat gold bracelet. We'll have to look and see if it's 14 karat gold plated. It doesn't, it doesn't have the symbols, but because it's Turkey, it's marked made in Turkey, it might be, might be different. So that's something to look at. Exciting. And then there was this necklace. Look at this necklace. Ooh, shimmery. Big old necklace. This one. No, it's not marked either. At least on quick inspection. I found some more marbles, but these are kind of cool marbles because they're like actually made out of stone as opposed to glass marbles. Um, they're like polished stone marbles, which I thought was really cool. There's another one. So that was a fun find. And you know what looked great? That's how some people display their mar marbles. They put them on these old fla fa old fashioned flower frogs. Isn't that cool? Um, here it is. One of the first things I picked up, this is literally the first thing I picked up when I got to the bins was this little box. Open it up. There's a ring in it. It is not marked. I didn't think it would be. It's just a costume ring. Nice, but, but a pretty pink ring. But in the lid was another ring stuck in there. And this one is not marked either. But that one's just got a stone stuck in it. So I was like, fun. Got a couple rings. But then here's what I found that I was excited about because it's Fiesta wear. And these are the vintage Fiesta wear. This one, can't really see, it's faded. Um, same with that one. Not faded, but it's covered with glaze. I found three bowls. These are the HLC Fiesta made in USA. There's a blue, there's a yellow, same marking, and the peach or pinkish. So there were three bowls and eight plates. Um, now, I think the plates are a little newer than the bowls because they're marked lead-free, Fiesta, genuine Fiesta, GGA. Um, 
and I'm not that familiar with Fiesta Wear to know exactly, which you, some of you guys are probably far more familiar with Fiesta Wear. Now they do have a lot of spoon uh, utensil marks on them, which I'm going to see if I can get off. But we pay 49 cents for dishware. So for all um, 13, no, what do I got? 8 and 3, 11, 12, 13 pieces, I would have paid six and a half dollars. So I think that's a good buy. I think we're going to make some good money off of these. Um, so yeah, so this was an awesome haul today. Very excited. I think this is worth quite a bit too. Um, so yeah, look at all that stuff. Amazing. And it's all small stuff. But what great fun we had. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.